to say before I roll the video on installing the single turbo, I uh, lost all my footage of us working on the car, driving the car, uh, first start up everything. My SD card went corrupt and I had to format it, which really sucks, but I'm gonna roll all the clips of us building this thing. And you guys might wonder why the car is apart right now, but I'm gonna save that for the next video where I tell you guys why the car's apart, what happened, and uh, yeah, it's not looking too good, but we're gonna get this baby back and running, so. got the turbo fitted up looks really really good um did a whole bunch of maintenance basically rewriting the coolant tank power string fluid reservoir had to really adjust my piping down here because i had some fitment issues with the compressor um everything's really tight here uh including the coolant tank had to kind of mess with the sensor extend a bunch of wiring i'm also going to be extending all my engine harness wiring so you basically can't see it. Um, I was kind of worried that the speed tech manifold wouldn't work with the dock race heat shield, but I'm thinking it will. I don't know if I'll have any problems with the downpipe. I might have to make some adjustments, but I think so far it's looking pretty good actually. It's not the worst and it looks nice. So as you guys can tell, some things have changed. Um, got the turbo kit mounted. Got the base tune flashed, went ahead and uh, decided to drive around the block. Probably drove the car for 20 minutes, just making sure everything was dialed in, no leaks. Had some leaks I had to sort out, but uh, just drove it a few more times to make sure it was okay. And unfortunately, we've got a really nasty tick that's developed. Um, as you guys know, I changed the rod bearings. I'm thinking that the ticking noise is coming from the top end. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm going to be looking into it and digging into it. Hopefully, I don't need a new motor, but uh, you got to pay to play. This is all part of the game. Um, the <laughs> I will say, this is like nothing I've ever driven, and I'm so excited and really bummed out that the car is out of commission. Honestly, I probably drove it for half an hour. Probably did a few wide-open throttle pulls, but... Uh, really performed well but you know high mileage car weak point a little more power something's gonna break so yeah i think uh based on the noise we got i think it's something in the top end i'm thinking a lifter probably needs cams and lifters so we're gonna look into it and we'll let you guys know what we find i think the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna crack open the oil filter cut it open and just see how much metal we have in there if we've got a lot of metal then we know we've got a serious failure and uh you know, if we got a serious failure, then it might just be worth pulling the motor and doing a full rebuild. But 